Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ryan and in this video we're going to be going over the Caldigit TS4 Thunderbolt 4 dock. This is a great dock if anyone is looking to add a dock to their desk setup. It can help simplify all the connections into one dock and then connect one cable to your laptop or a computer of your choice. And it's great if anyone wants to add more ports to their plug and play workflow. And uh, let's get into um, the dock. So in the box, you're gonna get the dock itself and you're gonna get a Thunderbolt 4 cable, a power brick, and you're also gonna get some literature and you get two rubber feet that you can use if you want to orient your dock in a uh, horizontal position. Uh, you can also stand the dock up vertically if you'd like. If that fits your desk setup, you can go ahead and do that. As for the design and build, uh, the dock comes with an aluminum body with a vent-like appearance on the side. Um, they appear to look like vents, but I don't think they're actually uh, cut out in any way, but I believe this is uh, like this to dissipate heat. And um, again, you also get uh, rubber feet that you can put on the bottom and you can uh, stand this on your desk horizontally if you like. Uh, I personally put it on my desk in a horizontal position because it fits right under my desk shelf and it is kind of out of sight, out of mind. As for the price, you can get this dock for $3.99 on Amazon. Uh, it is pretty steep, but it is a great dock and it is um, probably one of the best docks on the market to offer 18 ports and uh, I personally believe this is a pretty solid dock to be using in 2023. As for compatibility, this dock works fantastic on Windows and Mac OS. It works on uh, Thunderbolt 4 connectivity or USB 4 enabled computers. So if you have a USB 4 enabled uh, motherboard if in your PC build, you can go ahead and hook this up to that and it'll work just fine but as for me i have it hooked up to my 14 inch macbook pro and it does wonders in consolidating all of my thunderbolt connections into one dock and then i can connect it all to one central hub as for ports and connectivity this dock features 18 ports in the front you're going to get a sd uhs 2 slot a micro sd uhs 2 slot an audio jack and a USB-A 3.2 port and two USB-C 3.2 ports. And on the back, you're gonna get a two and a half gigabit ethernet port and four USB-A port and an audio in port and out port. And you're gonna get three Thunderbolt 4 slash USB 4 ports and the host port offers 98 watts of charging. You also get a USB-C data port. And lastly, you will get a display port 1.4 but as for me, I personally use a Thunderbolt connection for my displays because I want to utilize uh, higher bandwidth for um, connecting my monitor to my Thunderbolt devices. As for display connectivity, you have the option to connect to DisplayPort 1.4. This works great. There's zero connectivity issues and I'm able to hit the rated speeds that the monitor has to offer through that connection. And you, you also have the option to connect through uh, the Thunderbolt ports. If you wanna connect your display through the Thunderbolt port, there's no degradation of read and write speeds when connecting to like an external SSD uh, by any means. And the display connection works great with uh, USB-C enabled monitors or Thunderbolt monitors. And most of my connections like my SSD, my Scarlett Solo Focusrite, my Scarlett Focusrite Solo, which is what I'm using to record, and my monitor, all my charging cables can go into this dock and it offers charging um, high bandwidth and all of that. It's a really solid dock. I haven't had any issues. Actually, I lied. I actually had one issue with this dock, but we'll get into that a little later. As for the SD card slot, there's no degradation in read and write speeds. If anything, it was on par to the slot on my MacBook Pro. And it's great to have a second SD card slot because uh, I use an A74 and it features slots for two SD cards. And it's great to take both of those SD cards out, pop one into my computer and pop one into the dock and be able to simultaneously transfer data from both of the SD cards at the same time. I did have an issue with the two and a half gigabit ethernet port on my previous dock, but I followed all the troubleshooting guides with CalDigit support and um, they came to the conclusion that I needed to submit an RMA, which I did, and they sent a new dock to me uh, free of charge. I paid for shipping and I uh, sent my old unit back and I got the new one and I just put my old unit in the same box that I shipped in and shipped it back uh, through FedEx and that was the end of that. It was great. CalDigit took care of me. The customer support was very supportive. Uh, they walked me through everything and I was glad to be able to get a new unit. 
As for the software and features, um, this device is really plug and play. You don't really have to download and install anything if you don't want to, but uh, there are updater tools for like the firmware if you want to download it on Mac OS or PC to uh, update the firmware on the dock, or um, there are drivers and util utilities. They're completely optional, but again, this is a pretty much plug and play dock. So let's go ahead and get into the pros and the cons. So um, one of the cons was initial issues with the two and a half gigabit ethernet port, but um, I guess the pros is um, 18 ports of connectivity. It's backed by a company that has great customer service. They're always looking to make sure the customer ends up satisfied with their end product. You know, I got my unit uh, replacement unit fairly quickly. So um, thumbs up to CalDigit for that. So what would I like to see in the next iteration of CalDigit docs? So um, I guess this doc is fine as it is, but uh, I guess what I would really like to see is like more Thunderbolt ports and less USB-A. Like maybe we can chop off, uh, maybe we can go down to two USB-A ports or three USB-A ports and then just add like two more Thunderbolt ports. That would be perfect. But other than that, I think the dock is great the way it is. And I do think it is a little it is a little on the expensive side, which will deter a lot of people from actually upgrading to it. I find myself recommending to people to get the CalDigit TS3 Plus, which is the model before this one. But this is a great model to upgrade to. If you guys are looking to get into a good dock, this is it. If you have the money to spend on it, the, the latest and greatest, by all means, get one of these. I'll leave a link to these in the description description below but if you guys are in need of a dock uh, and you don't care about having a 98 watt power delivery or having all 18 ports that this has to offer you might want to consider going for the TS3 plus which is significantly cheaper it's at a very great discount on Amazon I really don't know the price on top of my head but it is a uh, great dock to get into if you want one but aren't willing to spend $399 on this just yet and you want to wait for it maybe a discount this dock has improved my workflow um it has additional ports for thunderbolt connectivity uh i can consolidate it all, in, all into one dock and uh there's just less charging bricks around my workspace and my desk and uh it's very convenient very plug and play so you're not gonna have to worry about fiddling with software, trying to get things to work. But um, just having that one cable connect, like all my displays, all my SD cards, all my flash drives hooked up to this, all my external USB-C or Thunderbolt devices hooked up to this, and being able to connect it to my laptop is very seamless. You know, it's very plug and play in a sense where I can just take my laptop off my desk and come back at the end of the day plug it in with one cable and everything just kind of works. The monitor turns on, my second monitor turns on and it is delivering power to my laptop and all my peripherals and accessories are connected to my laptop and two and a half gigabit ethernet. You get to go uh, wired and you don't have to use Wi-Fi. You know, and it's going through one cable as well. But if you guys have any questions about the CalDigit TS4, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you soon. See you in the next video.